Welcome to How to Rock Spirit's Sun Moon Alchemy series. This audio was compiled and recorded by Dustin Cormier, a Leo Ascendant Scorpio with Sagittarius Moon, born in the year of the Metal Ram. All the possible Western Sun and Moon sign combinations can be found and learned about here. This information is for educational purposes only. I do not own any of the following content. For more astrology lectures and my own Cosmic Consciousness audio lecture series, check out How to Rock Spirit's YouTube channel, where I rap about everything from philosophy and transpersonal psychology, to psychedelic spirituality, to tantric and occult mysticism, and even to Marx and Engels and the materialist sciences. See you there! Sun in a Water Sign Basically motivated by deep emotional yearnings and desires. Recharges energy through intense emotional experience and intimate involvement with people. Sun in Cancer. Experiences strength through nurturing, sensitive, mother-like qualities. Feels instinctive urge to protect one's ego. Builds inner self a nest from which it can safely radiate. Levels of vitality and creative energy depend on moods and so are difficult to maintain. Expresses self creatively through emotions and feels need to be recognized for sensitivity. Sense of individuality is expressed most clearly in a familiar, sheltered environment or situation. The moon sign and its element. These notes are also still from Stephen Arroyo's Chart Interpretation Handbook. The element of the moon sign represents an attunement from the past that manifests automatically a mode of feeling and being that one needs to be aware of in order to feel inwardly secure and at home with oneself. This element and experiences related to it feed your need to feel right about yourself. This element and experiences related to it feed your need to feel right about yourself. By such modes of self-expression, you are satisfying a deep inner need that can give stability to your entire personality. The moon's element also shows how you react instinctively to all experiences, with what energy you spontaneously adjust yourself to the flow of life. Moon in Fire Signs Reacts to changing experiences with direct action and enthusiasm. Feels comfortable when expressing confidence and strength. Moon in Aries Reacts aggressively, impatiently, forcefully, directly, competitively. A need for self-assertion in order to feel emotionally secure and right about oneself. A confident, action-oriented sense of self focused on new experience. Responds to experience and environment with a single-pointed release of energy. Combative qualities can hinder attainment of security. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's Astrology, A Cosmic Science, copyright 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust. Moon in Aries, aggressive spirit, temper, quick reactions, spontaneous, direct, inclined to impulsive and quick temper. Feelings are keen and intense at the moment. Courage, but foolhardiness. Hides a sense of insecurity behind an independence and an aggressive exterior. Poor judgment, jumps into action from feelings rather than from reason. Makes friends quickly, but often finds it difficult to keep them because of emotional instability. In a male chart, attracts a dominating woman as a partner. Sun-Moon Alchemy, the elemental combinations of the sun sign and the moon sign. The following information comes from Charles and Susie Harvey's Sun Sign Moon Sign. Copyright Charles and Susie Harvey, 1994, again in 2003. And first published by Aquarian, 1994. Each sun-moon type is a combination of elements. In the following descriptions of the element combinations, please remember that the pairing can be either way around. For example, a fire-earth combination refers equally to sun-fire-moon-earth as it does to sun-earth-moon-fire. There will be subtle differences, but the dynamic is generally the same. Fire-water combinations. Take firepower and water power and put them together and you get steam, the power which drove the great trains. Steam is used to cleanse and sterilize and can also scald. Emotionally, this combination has a reputation for being especially given to passionate emotional involvement. Volatile, romantic, moody, the fire-water person has the artistic temperament which can fluctuate wildly. 
It is a poetic, ardent temperament, courageous in its visions, yet vulnerable in its need for love and inspiration. The poet Shelley, sun in Leo, moon in Pisces, exemplified this passionate, artistic nature very well, and could equally be describing himself when he rejoices in his poem The Skylark. Pourest thy full heart and profuse strains of unpremeditated art. When the sun is in water and the moon is in fire, the result is a passionate crusader whose feelings fuel his purpose and art. But fire can make water evaporate, and water may extinguish fire. When this happens, this type can feel unstable, depressed, and disoriented. Shadow Side The fire-water individual often lacks the ability to take the impersonal view, that is, to step back and reason impartially about things. Their approach is intensely personal, urgent, passionate, and for them, life lacks meaning and color if that vital personal ingredient is taken away. Often a slave to the intense fluctuation of moods, this type's volatility can reach fanatical proportions, especially if a cool, reasoned argument is called for. Instability and impracticality can play havoc with the smooth running of their lives. Relationships The fire-water type is a highly romantic, warm, and emotional person, and to a large degree thrives on love and satisfying relationships. Whilst one part of the nature may want to merge and gain absolute security, however, another part wants excitement and challenge. One part may feel an infinite capacity to give, whilst another part is impelled to devour. This mixture can be demanding to live with, but also exciting and rewarding in the way that it might stretch other, less emotional types. People with this combination tend to feel contained and grounded by earth-air types. Their moodiness and changeability is less problematic as they learn to direct some of their emotional energy into their own creative pursuits. Male versus Female This combination blends the most feminine and the most masculine of the elements. An extreme yang and an extreme yin quality together produces a very creative but also a very volatile and often difficult combination for either sex to handle. Both males and females can experience huge mood swings as they contact first their powerful independence and pride, and then their sensitivity and vulnerability. In general, both males and females will seek highly personal professional avenues. Conforming to convention is not their strong suit. Under the label of the artist, both the male and female fire water type will find more compassionate acceptance as well as intense admiration from others. In other words, their artistic inspiration and highly theatrical style usually more than compensates for their lack of emotional stability. The following observations about your sun-moon combination are drawn from insights gained from astrologer Jefferson Anderson's book, Sun Sign Moon Sign, an observation of many different individuals. The writing itself comes from Mantak Chia and William Yu Wei's Cosmic Astrology, copyright 2012 by North Star Trust, published by Destiny Books. Sun in Cancer, Moon in Aries, Self-Righteous. You can feel misunderstood and let down because they do not place you on a pedestal. You run into problems because you sometimes do not accept yourself. You cannot be in the spotlight all the time. There's no need to live life as though you can save the world and run from place to place trying to meet all kinds of impossible goals. This can only result in ill health. Be happy and grateful for who you actually are and do not worry about being superhuman. Self-acceptance is the key. There's a competition here between an aggressive and assertive Aries and a careful and sensitive Cancer. The fact is, though, that it is quite difficult to live up to being a person who is all things to all people. The scenario might be that you believe yourself to be a leader, but the insecure and careful Cancer side stops you from enacting those fantasies and delusions of grandeur. Depression and moodiness can result if you do not keep up with the challenges of your dreams. You're a very talented person, and the Cancer Aries is quite self-motivated. Careers that might suit you are in politics, engineering, or other things that involve projects emphasizing improvement. Academia is also a possibility because of your strong intellectual abilities. Discarding your idealistic image can open up several creative areas because of your abilities and talents. 
You might have an inclination to think you are superior to others even though you are generous and polite. This can cause serious problems for you. The road to your career is sometimes blocked by your lack of patience and pride in spite of your gusto and ambition. You like to have attention and you can range from being the ham to the sophisticate. You are always trustworthy, true-hearted, and steady in your close relationships. You are also a committed and tender partner who is extremely amorous. There's a need to always believe you have someone on your side who gives support. Your spirit and mind keep you ahead in school or work. When things do not go as planned, you can throw aside everything you have worked for. You do not take orders well, and this means that being the subordinate is not easy for you. You sometimes do not accept it and ruin your chance for advancement. A Cancer Aries probably has the most difficult challenge in overcoming self-importance. You are high-spirited, friendly, and outgoing in a social setting. A quick note from Charles and Susie Harvey's Sun Sign Moon Sign. Sun in Cancer, Moon in Aries, your greatest strengths. Quick, shrewd mind. Ability to use both receptivity and self-assertion to good effect. Individualistic approach to life. Emotional commitment to personal values and relationships. Sensitivity to people's needs. Social flair. Original magnetic style. Your greatest weaknesses. Self-absorption and oversensitivity to criticism. Impatience and sharp tongue when you reach the end of your tether. Tendency to hide behind a brisk, authoritative manner when at your most vulnerable. A sort of divine discontent that makes you stir up trouble when there is none. Images for integration. A suffragette takes to the barricades in aid of her cause. A quiet homebody becomes a sports champion.